All righty, folks, back with the second duel of the day. Made some changes, finally put in the composers and the Link Karibo that I've been talking about this whole damn time. So, what we can do is start off with this. We can pay that young hot five. Uh, opponent doesn't do anything. Understood. Let's see what he does to this because it depends on what he does. Oh, he doesn't do anything. We are in the game, folks. We are in the game. Um, you know what's sad? Um, vampires, man. I, I just I, I didn't just notice this, but it is very uh, what's the name? It's very apparent that um, you know we, <laughs> the fact that we have to discard and pay 500 is a little bit unfair. And in the new climate, thanks to the new rules, we only have 40 minutes technically to play, um, and then literally at the end of a phase, um, it's either you win or you don't, and it's it's kind of heartbreaking. <laughs> I would say that the least is definitely kind of heartbreaking right here we're gonna grab desires right you know why we're gonna grab desires folks is because we're gonna go into the fantastic starter charge where using these two and then as you can see with um starter charge we're gonna be able to okay all right that's fantastic folks that is so fantastic when we and then we, what we're supposed to do um we're gonna target uh the shadow vampire Make him a six by sending grace to the graveyard and then be able to go to Beatrice and then set vampires uh, domination, even though it wouldn't have worked um, because I don't have a vampire on the field. I could have sent a Mizuki um, and then just reborn something for free. But the fact still remains is that, um, you know, we had a great hand, but it was spoiled by somebody who wants to quit. All righty, folks. So let's see if player can under can 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 take. Uh, uh, can take the uh, the vampire train. Oh, we have opened. Okay, this is an okay hand, um, to say the least. We're going against diagram. That's actually pretty cool for me, I guess. Uh, we also we have solitaire. We also have unizombie. We have a duke that's pretty technically dead. Pretty much technically dead. Um, you know what would have been a lot better for this deck? Oh no, we're not playing diagram. We're not playing true dracos. I mean, we're playing true dracos. Okay, well, I thought it was going to be something con 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 entirely different because of um, him popping in his hand, which oh, is either he doesn't know how to play True Draco or there's no reason not to activate it, though. That's that's the weird part about it. All right. So in this situation here, we'll definitely start off with uh, Samurai Skull. So there's really nothing he can do. Oh, he's going to do. I don't think he understands what Skull does. Oh, oh my God, folks. Well, this, this is going to be very horrible for him. Um, let's send Brood because this can special summon anyone. Um, and Brood is the one that gets less of the deck. He's going to do it. I know he's going to do it. Yep. I told you. I knew he was going to do it. Well, um, here, I get, no, 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 I know exactly what we get with this one. We get Gozuki with this. And this is once again why I love Samurai Skull. Because in that predict, uh, particular moment, he's probably going to quit. But in that particular moment, he's he's not able to basically stun my Gozuki, which he would have did if I had a Gozuki instead of Samurai Skull. Um, the moment I summon, he flips that train, bam, pops Gozuki. That's the end of my play. With Samurai Skull, it has the added benefit when it's normal summon. Automatically, you get to send a, something to the grave. So you want to waste the Ash Blossom or something on it. That's completely fine and up to you. Um, and if you want to actually use something to get rid of it, that's also fine also. Um, but it doesn't it doesn't help you out. All right. So with this situation, um, I am going first. So that's a little weird. I think I think the one is the better choice. But then again, I don't want to discard. No, we're going to go. We're going to go Mizuki because we do have the Duke in hand and we're, we're able to get Vampire Desires. Um, I don't know what the hell he has a chain, but if you play DD Crow, you're just a madman. Um, that would really hurt right now. DD Crow were entirely too hurt. Um, uh, Samurai Skull is even once returned, so that's crazy. Um, but yeah, uh, the life points payments that you have to really do in this deck is a little, a little absurd, man. It's really not even a little bit absurd. It's very, it's a, it's, it's, it's a very big. Uh, purport, purported, purported, ah, proponent of this deck 
and it really hurts it hurts a lot um so here we're going to banish the samurai skull and then there's another added benefit of the skull we're going to get this young man out i'm going to use this young man to get our uh yuna zombie from the deck he can't be destroyed by a battle once per turn but that's all right i'm guessing what does he search continuous spells right um, here, I believe we send Familiar, then Ditch Duke to Special Summon, and then we get a Search, which we can search Scar Jelay, um, and then we can get Duke back. And, wait, if these are sent to the graveyard from the field, right? Um, spell Trap Zone. Okay, so yeah, we can definitely get most of his traps out of the deck. Um, actually, spe I think Spells is better to send. All right, so in this situation, um, I have a Familiar which is yeah that's the better that's the better play because then with familiar we can ditch the duke we get special summon um we can draw i mean we can search card delay we also have the extra normal summon which can help us entirely out sadly we can't take one of his monsters there's an allure of darkness i feel like that's pretty acceptable to do Ooh, we also drew i guess we'll keep this for the mean being for the meantime i mean um all right so in this situation here um what i can technically do is ditch um vampire grace for unizombies effect then i can normal summon a scar delay bring back duke or i can normal summon a charlotte bring back duke regardless have him send a spell guard to the graveyard then use unizombie to target duke by sending mizuki from the hand and then yeah we yeah we're definitely going to do that play if that's a lot that's a way better play and that's actually a game shot um yeah because we're gonna send this to the graveyard actually that becomes a six so me sending that to the graveyard actually works out for us um we're able to use duke let's send actually we could just send monsters to the grave i just noticed that like we could just literally send monsters to the grave um and that's just fine in itself once again with the plays ditch this target duke make him a six um target duke Make him a six by ditching that. Then what we're able to do is use um, these two to go into this guy. And then what he can do is I can just literally just send this to the graveyard, to be honest with you. Then he goes down to 23. I'm able to kill him. Um, and I'm able to reborn. Actually, I'm able to reborn um, Gozuki Go uh, Shogun Saga. Shogun Saga would then be, um, I could actually ditch the Duke and then he'll be 5,000. So let me think, is that a better play? Um, actually, this is just clearly the better play. I don't know why I'm trying to overthink something. <laughs> and it's literally the better play right now because now I'm able to go. Um, actually, what we can do here is we can ditch for brood by descending this special summon. We're not able to use the effect, but then we're able to go into a starter's charge warrior bam over there get a free draw you're not able to attack with that oh with Fort Lauren. then now what we can do is go into a six with these two because once again we control it bam so that's what 56 and then what we can do here is just use mizuki to bring back uh scar delay and then vampire grace will trigger paying that young 2000 to special summon and then yeah we can just go for game here and we gain the life points at that and then we also have a forward learning which i feel like this can be a good either side tech or main deck option and i'm not going to take credit for that somebody else suggested that and um i was thinking about it like when i'm playing vendreds like that would be very helpful um to have that added free for loin that is basically a gores or it's basically like a battle favorite of gores because then your opponent can't attack over this which is pretty cool and like it's also a be added benefit with all your zombies you can just make them higher than everything and it is it's really good card to definitely side or at least main uh we'll probably get one more duel let me check the time real quick and we'll be right back all right so here's hoping to we get at least a competitive matchup and uh, you know have a good 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 oh, okay this is not going to be competitive um but we did draw yuki asagi now i don't know if i should set mizuki or not i feel like i should not do it be honest i can't cancel now so it doesn't really matter um but yeah i don't, I don't think i should have did that because worst case scenario i'm able to normal summon, but then again it takes up my normal summon next turn 
so it's either here nor I mean it's either here or there um, all right so let's see if we can get a competitive matchup um, against let's see oh well you know this stops um this way I can't respond to the activation right the activation card cannot be negated also your opponent cannot activate effects oh okay well I don't think we're able to um, we're able to do any of that stuff I don't think yeah we can't we can't we can't stop it we cannot stop it folks that is that is not going to be good that's kind of bad for us it's really kind of bad for us I think he might be playing invoked um because he can't be negated and this negates the activation um so that's kind of bad that's kind of bad he's playing uh what's the name he is playing it so I wonder if I should chain hmm well yeah he's I'm have to I'm forcing him to have another card uh, Scar Gillette, some special summons from my hand though, not that one. Um, I wish that these effects were like, uh, what's the name? Uh, hmm, I should get this because if I get this, I would get familiar. Familiar is pretty cool. And then with familiar, I can just search another Froiloin. Um, so make him basically scared to attack. Um, where are you at? So if he negates this one, I'm able to bring another one out. Probably should have summoned that thing in attack mode, but I'm not too sure if I should have. If he has another spell trapped, then there's just not really too much I can do about that. Um, hopefully his hand's full of monsters. Um, looks like Invocation was really the only thing in his... Uh, only thing. I wonder if this can negate the graveyard effect. I think it may. I think it may. Um, is, wait, what? I'm not understanding. The activation of your cards that includes cannot be negated. Oh, I can negate it. Yep. I can negate it. That is true because it includes the effect of banishing from the graveyard. That's exactly why uh, Ghost Bell can negate it. And now he's forced. Yeah, see, he's not going to do it because he knows I have Freudloin in the hand. Is this. Okay, thank God. I, I didn't even know if it was once per turn. I thought that was a terrible move. <laughs> I didn't even know if it was once per turn. Okay, I mean, I guess. Can't stop that. Um, glad this doesn't search um, non mech knight cards. I mean, non monsters. Yeah, okay. Well, you did have a spell, so why didn't you just do that, you bastard? Oh, God, I hate this game. He's going to move him. We may. No, no, we're, 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 definitely, we're definitely in the driver's seat right now. Um, you know we're activating it, sir. Definitely activating it. Um, oh, wait a minute. This is only once per turn? I didn't know that. I sure didn't know that. Um, and let's see what he attacks. If he attacks this, it's fine. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna let it go. If he attacks this, this is fine. Um, is this really just a chump blocker? If he doesn't have a monster in hand, he's not gonna attack. So he changed it. Who do you attack with? Did he attack with Mechaboo? God dang it, I don't even know. I don't know if he did or not. Um I don't see I don't know if he did. But if he did, let's just pay the five. And then he loses his he loses his monster, so. I mean he loses his attack. Because if I don't know if Mechaboo attacked, it looked like Blue Sky attacked. Because the arrow came from over there. But if he did attack with this. He, and he loses his attack target, so it doesn't really matter. I um, mean, uh, hopefully he attacked with Mecha. Oh, I, I think he didn't. Why would you attack this? I'm dying. It's dying anyways. That's weird. Um, I, oh, he did. He did not. No, he did not do it. All right. Oh, we do a Vampire Grace. Now that's now that's really fucking good. All right. So we can ditch this and special him familiar. Hopefully he does negate the actual uh, effect of familiar and not the one in the graveyard because. It's just not what you're supposed to do here, folks. Um, no, I don't want to chain nothing. I mean, why are you asking me that? All right, so here we're able to search, which we're going to get a brood. Probably should have summoned it in attack mode. He should negate. 
You should negate it. Oh, he doesn't. Why would he not negate? Um, well, that's fine, I guess. So then I can normal summon Drone Lockbird. Oh, that's fine. Yo, that's fine. I'm running your board over, sir. Oh, and I can take his Mechaba? But it has to be in defense, right? Does it have to be in defense? If I use a monster with a... Okay, wait, wait, no, no, no. Target one card. One of control, send it to the graveyard if it's a monster card. Um... If, once, if a monster card is sent to you my, by a card effect or a monster to provide balance, you can special summon one of them. So it comes in defense. All right, so here, I can flip summon this. Normal brute. No, I can't add. Wait, I have to think about this one. Have to think about this. No, no, no. Do I play what's the name? I mean, do I play it? Of course I play it. All right, so here, what is what we're going to do here, folks? We're going to lose our Froiloin for right now. Actually, oh my god, I see, I don't know if it works. That's the, what am I doing? No, I'm supposed to be going Link Karibo. Link Karibo. So we're going to go Link Karibo. We're going to Normal Summon Brood. Then we're going to go Troymer Phoenix, but we're not, oh wait, I, can we use Troymer Phoenix? Oh yes, you can draw a card. Okay. So it's definitely a you can effect. We're going to get rid of, I was about to get rid of the Furlong for no apparent reason. So we'll kill that. Was another invocation okay so now what i can do here is go this guy for scar delay and this is going to get real good folks scar delay is then going to pay no we're not going to use grace right now because then we'll get this back right and this can't attack so in this special summons anything destroyed by battle so um what i can technically do here is um i want to get his i want to get his mecha book i can just go what's the name and get his mecha book for free and that's 2600 and then i'm able to attack over some, i'm able to attack over something which is cool so wait time out if i go beatrice see if i go beatrice then i'm able to do the exact same thing but I'm actually able to get rid of his entire board because I can attack. No, no, no. Let's just let's just keep it. Let's just keep it what we're supposed to do. Um, if it comes down to a Beatrice, that's completely fine. Um, what we're gonna do here is discard Grace, send that, um, and then use that also to special summon that thing over here, and then. Um, now what we can do is just attack this guy which is completely fine with us because now he can't really do anything um, if he gets invocation back we just negate it um, yeah I think that's they think that's what happens here um, not able to get rid of his what's the name though so that's kind of that's kind of bad but it's it's okay it is okay um, I feel like we're in a very good position here. Um, the droll is, I mean, the droll kind of stopped us, but it didn't hurt us. And that's one thing it definitely didn't do. It did not hurt us. Actually, maybe got us the game. Because, um, that's fine. Unless he drew a what's the name, we're, we should be straight. But even if he did draw an invocation, we could still negate an attack. Um, if he tries to attack over this, nothing gets destroyed by battle. So that's cool. Yeah, this is getting negated. So, I mean, there's not really, if he has something for me, he has something for me. I, I can't stop it. Um, to be honest with you, I don't even think I should negate. I don't even think I should negate. Oh, he didn't even activate it. Oh, he must have an invocation in his hand. Spell book of knowledge. Okay. I mean, you have to hard draw a fucking Western name. Which once, once again sounds cool. Okay, <laughs> he already normal summoned. This is pretty much a dead card. This is the only card in his hand that is viable. Um, so I know if this is a monster, this game is over. If it's the invocation, it kind of sucks. Okay, there we go. Good, 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 good game. Good God. 
All right, folks. I mean, you got to respect it. You got to respect it, man. That was that was a pretty good game to end on. Um, I wonder if I would have went to Beatrice or what would have happened. Because with Beatrice, what I could have did was definitely send a Mizuki and pretty much just pay two more thousand. And then um, get those two on the board. Kill his blue sky. Get his blue sky during the end of the battle phase. Crash with Megaba with um, Beatrice. Um, what I should have did was start sending spells. That's what I should have did with... Uh, um, why do I keep saying Beatrice? Grace. Well, Grace, I should have sent spells to his graveyard. Wait. Yeah, I definitely should have sent spells to his graveyard because um, they don't play that many spells. Uh, I, may be, I don't know if I'm right, but what I could have did, an uh, alternate play, what I could have did was create even a bigger board, even a bigger... Um, what's the only thing I wouldn't have had was the negate, and I think that was what got me the game is because he was he wasn't able to search. That's what got me the game, and the fact that he drew spellbook of knowledge and he needed his monster on the board, he couldn't have it negated. So, hey man, all in all, we did play good. Um, yeah, man, shout out to Samurai Skull for being a clutch performer. But anyways, that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Sorry once again. Uh, I mean, I didn't say sorry because I already recorded the video. I just did didn't have enough time to uh, upload them and do all that stuff so sorry for that we're going to be a little off track this week but hey man we're still going to get the videos out and we you know we're still going to be doing some good things but anyways thank you guys for watching um hope you guys did enjoy it if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe um if you want to donate to the channel links are down in the description down below besides that um that is it for today see you guys tomorrow with some more videos